uh, has been uh, ninth place uh, Classic Tetris World Championships. Uh, okay. Hydrant, also a top tier player, mm. uh, held a one of the uh, at one point world record holder, achieving a 1.6 million uh, live in competition back Dang. when that was not not a thing the way it is now in terms mm. of the overall schedules. Uh, let's go. Let's see how this plays yeah. out. So um, I want to point out one thing really quickly yeah. for anyone not familiar with double elimination. Opox is coming from the winner side of the bracket, where Hydrant is coming from the loser side. So uh, Hydrant has already taken a loss. So he only if he loses once, he is now been double eliminated and is out of the tournament. So if he wants to win the tournament, he has to beat Opox twice in two, two first to threes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I see. No, the, which is no, no small task, uh, but certainly possible. Simul mm. Tetris for both players. Yeah. Uh, Different stack style. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So w what we saw, and we saw especially in one of Hydrant's recent games, was the extreme example of the classic Tetris maxim, build out your left. And to just expand on what was being discussed, uh, the main reason for that is the Tetris play field in Classic is uh, 10 cells wide, and the rotation of a piece that is only four uh, squares long mm. is going to be biased to the left or the right. Mm. As it happens in Classic, it's always biased to the right, so you can more reliably get a long bar over to the right to score. Mm. So your general wisdom uh, pioneered in stacking strategy by uh, the GOAT, Jonas Neubauer, uh, build out your left first. Mm. So, because if you get stuff high up on your left, especially at uh, 18 speed, you can more reliably get a piece to score over to the right side. Mm. Uh, and oh. we can we can see that again. Uh, both drop. players, yeah, both players biased sense. very strongly to the left side. Yeah. Hydrant starting to flatten out at this yeah. point. Opox will have to spend an LPs, IPs. Oh, oh, he's gonna plug it up. Mm -hmm. No, Is it's it it, 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 it's difficult, but uh, yeah. no, very, very. Oh, that's a very unfortunate burn. We're still not high up enough that Opox is in serious danger. Yeah. And that's the thing. Uh, when you have players that have the capacity to roll and play into uh, level uh, 29 speed, the, the formerly known as kill screen, you really just have to maximize and be aggressive uh, at 18 speed. Mm. N n newcomers to classic Tetris like, oh, th th this is impossibly fast right here. It really only takes watching one game of people playing playing at 29 speed and then you come back to 18, and from just the viewer's perspective, it's just, it's practically sedate. Yeah. <laughs> though, though, let's be clear, the even 18 speed, the type of consistency that both of these players have is... Crazy. Significant, yeah. significant achievement. Oh, that's nice. Nice timing of the LPs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Stack. Oh, fucks. Uh, Hydrant is just, you know, Very master of cleanliness right now. Yeah. I'm from Blue Society, too. Hmm. LPs, there it is. Nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, I. Oh my god. <laughs> Keep thinking of lowercase l. <laughs> Hydrant with uh, 346, uh, 80,000 points ahead. That's about four Tetrises yeah. worth at this level. He's behind. He's behind in line two. So, yeah. Uh, uh, the, the lead is even larger than it looks from an efficiency standpoint. Yeah. Uh, Opox is. Opox has been stuck in this dig for a while. I mean, this yeah. this is the part where even players at this level, I'd say, there's some risk of a top out. But yeah. Uh, I mean, the the bigger the thing Tetris. is the efficiency. Yeah. 120,000 point lead opened up by Hydrant at this yeah. point. And he's still behind. Simul Tetris. Oh, IPs? Uh, they're, they're actually on the same pieces at this point, almost. Uh, no, uh, the sequence looked synced up for a few minutes, for, for a few pieces yeah. there. No, they are, oh, um... oh, that's some traffic up, uh, up or high up for Hydrant. Oh, bailed. Both Lenin. managing to uh, make use of their long bars at this stage. Yeah. 
Oh, we're gonna need to... O Opox is gonna have to burn that oh. off with some... Oh! That's a that's that's gonna be an extremely cerebral burn for for Opox. Mm. It might be my turn. Uh, and lose the packet, but we'll see. And we're just seeing that profound level of aggression. Uh, Hydrin uh, cleaned up. Uh, Hydrin is very solidly on. Uh, Max out pace at this point. Oh, and uh, Opox transitions. Transitions? Oh. Uh, to, uh, so, uh, at 130 lines. Yeah. We get the uh, higher speed, level 19 speed transition. That's that's where the game is going to stay until 29 in terms mm. of speed. At which point it reaches the maximum speed that uh, the original unmodified game supports. Mm. The kill screen. Uh, the, yeah, the, that's what it was called. But it... it, it, it so in most arcade games, kill screen uh, refers to the point at which you cannot see, but like physically can't play anymore because the code just won't run. Uh, for a long time, the Tetris kill screen at 29 was just a matter of we didn't think it was humanly possible for people to play. And then it turns out that that's... <laughs> it, 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 tur it turns out that, you know, I, I mean, rolling was really the technique that unlocked that uh, yeah. <laughs> just a couple years ago. Uh, oh, the way that unlucky. they're uh, for those for those who haven't uh, I'm not sure how much of this has been discussed on the stream before but that technique you can see a really good view of Opox doing this yeah where At the, on, play, on the playing right side. laying multiple fingers on the back of the controller basically turns the back of the controller into a giant button which using multiple fingers you can tap much more efficiently than just tapping with one finger mm. 667,000 for Hydrant, 618 for Opox, a much tighter game than it was initially, but as you mm. pointed out, Opox is uh, about uh, t t 12 lines ahead, uh, yeah. even more lines ahead, so he has, he has less runway yeah. before 29. Mm -hmm. There was a very brief period of time when uh, the that stat, uh, the, the, uh, Game Scout, who is uh, one of the major documentarians and co uh, content creators around Tetris worked on developing the pace stat for like what you are likely to achieve if you continue at oh, maximum yeah. efficiency at that. 29. Yeah. Um, th that stat you know, would cease to become as relevant as it might have been mm. once post-29 yeah. play became unlocked. Yeah. Uh, Hydrant has, if anything, just increased in consistency yeah. as the levels have gone up. 855,000, uh, 200 lines, 15 lines behind, and uh, 60, three te you know, a little more than three Tetrises. Mm -hmm. uh, t two, yeah. two Tetrises in change at this level, I believe. There's a single Tetris. Yeah, no, sing Tetrises are up to, up towards 30k at this point. Stacking, uh, Opus stacking in the middle, a little dangerous. Yeah, Opox, uh, get, getting a little Quaid well, Oh, no, he cleaned, he, cl he cleaned up. Nice. No, it's, it's... Good burn. Nice tuck. And, yeah. oh, here we go. And now he really needs to roll. Right, and it's uh, now we're seeing Hydra 29 speed. Opox uh, definitely has uh, a lot in the tank at, oh, at he's catching, post 29 he, he's play. He's catching up now. And we are about to hit second transition for Hydrant. Oh, Hydrant maxes out, giving us a strong A31. A32 now. Opox getting ready for a post-29 max out mm. on that side as well. Mm. Oh, it's, it, it's, it's extremely hype as this happens. Yeah. Hydrant Tetris is kill screen oh. Tetris. Opox... Opox with uh, get, gets a hang right there. Uh, can we actually run that back? I didn't actually see exactly how Opox topped out. Yeah. Uh, sure. Let's just get the game started and we'll do it in the center. Understood.
My turn, right? Oh, okay. Let's go. All right, and we can receive the... a replay, right? Or there you like... go. Oh, all um, right. So uh, as we can see, Opox still maintaining a really strong, very even, very very yeah. clean board, open for business. And then that 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 little spire with the Z's coming in, Z's and S's. We start to see okay. those gaps in his board, ah, but he's covered. Ooh, yeah. That missed drop. That well, was a, a very, very, very quick miss flip. Yeah. And, yeah. That's really unfortunate. But he has a chance to come back because he needs to win two, or Hydra needs to win two sets. So he can still sort of afford mistakes like this. Yeah, right there. Yeah. I bet he wanted to put it, uh, put it, yeah, uh, you, 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 all the way to the right. Yeah, you're, 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 you're looking to put that piece right in that spot. Oh, okay. Uh, well, you know, you, you could, you could have it. You, you, you have a couple options. Here. You, you, you could, you could have it turned that way, sideways. Mm. Oh yeah, to make it flat. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, that, that that's one option. He could have been trying to spin it to tuck it in. Here. And on, on that side, yeah, th th that would have been really risky to keep it keep it covered at this height. That's but, true. You, you want know, to keep that open. The, yeah. the these kind of uh, chunks are more easily filled because you can get squares, you can get L's, you can get J's. Mm. But uh, no, when you when you when you know you have two S's coming, that's just difficult. Yeah, uh, we've got Hydrant uh, with an interesting sort of left well setup well, at this well. point. Uh, n not not generally how you want to go because as we discussed, you you are easier and more capable of getting long bars over to the right. So normally you have it set up that way, but sometimes you just have yeah. to take the pieces as they're coming at also, you. Also, the speed right now is uh, slow enough that it he has ample time to move to the left. But he shifted back to the yep. the, the the hole back to the right side. Yeah, yeah. They, we, we, that, that, that's called a well transfer. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. The well. The well transfer yeah. back to the left in a standard way. Uh, Opox taking the early lead in this game, mm. uh, both in pace and points. Yeah. They're About very four, solid. Uh, 40,000 around. Yep, yep. now yeah. 60 and back and forth. Yeah. Still a uh, significantly tight game. Mm. Uh, little bit of traffic there. Yeah, no. So, so that was so that was an example of where uh, oh, oh wonderful flashy line spin yeah uh, from on Hydrant side always yeah. good to see yeah hmm oh. yeah Rezo so yeah we 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 went back to the tape it looks like it was Ness as it happened but yeah that was mm. it was still like at, at that speed. You know, any it's amount of survival tough. is quite impressive. Yeah. Uh, we've got Opox with the, 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 the textbook looking aggression. Looking for the ZPs. Oh, I couldn't find it. Now it shows up. Oh. Okay, at least this worked out a little bit. Yep. Su super flat on, on Opox's side. Yeah. Uh, Hydrant in. Cleans, mostly cleans up. You just need to not and the block it further. Tetris is back and forth. Opox has opened up a uh, you know what is seventy thousand and change point lead uh, at the same at, at the same number of lines. So that's that's a very true efficiency lead. Oh, where's the where's the ZPs and the OPs? You couldn't find. There's one. All right. Now he needs a J. Okay, he needs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, and uh, hydrant, hydrant, ready for the dirty. Oh, has to has to sacrifice has to for stability. A, uh, three line clear. Yeah. Otherwise, it's way too risky. No, it's it's you know, but yeah. So, sometimes you have to get a little dirty in life to That's succeed. True, but he's already in life be, and in Tetris. He, he does have a he does have a point. He does have a point in the set, but like. He's he has to win two series. He's two sets. So H hydrant is not 
not giving an inch. Yeah. And, and Tetris. What a... No, it's way cleaner. What a timely, timely piece. Yeah. Great recover. Uh, Opox... Really, uh, th this is abs uh, really excellent pace. You, you, when, when you think about what it takes for a max out, which you know used to be, you know, as rare as a game crash is now. <laughs> uh, your, your benchmark is like five hundred thousand at the one hundred thirty line transition. Uh, the fact that we're gonna see, a, yeah, we're gonna see a six, an, an almost six hundred k transition from Opox. Uh, Hydrant is already transitioned at 494, which is, it is possible to max out from that place, but uh, you know, it's much easier if you go into transition with 600k to get your max out. Nice, uh, very reasonable tuck setup for Hydrant, and, and I say reasonable, you know, uh, <laughs> get, getting a t uh, for me, tuck setups on, you know, 19 speed are... Still beyond me. I'm I'm a modern player. It's sorcery. So, <laughs> so so the the way how quickly things lock down here. Ooh, frame perfect spin. Very tall so, in the middle. Okay, yeah, that worked yeah. out. A strong bit. spire. Strong spire. No, he he still needs that. Hydra still needs that long bar. There it is. And there's one. Yeah. Opox. Open for business. Uh, and Hydrant answer right back. So when, when, when you're when you're Tetris ready, <laughs> mm. uh, oh oh, very tight, very tight oh. board. Hy Hydrant needs two two bails, two two real quick. Oh, that's tight. We're, uh, okay, that so yeah, no, that'll work. Okay, Hydrant is giving everyone a heart attack. <laughs> Opox, ooh, Opox has some traffic up at the top now. This is Hy Hydrant may in fact be able to uh, complete this chase. Down. Oh, he's chased. Yo, he topped out. Yeah, but uh, no, Hy Hydrant has to continue to demonstrate the very good control. No, he got it. And Hydrant's good. Yeah, so he wins the set then. Best uh, of no, no, two. B b it's first, first to three. First, first to three. three. Oh, Correct. first to three, not first best of three. two, three. Okay. Yeah. No. So one more point. Yeah. There, there, yeah. There's a, a terminology. Uh, no, I just overlap. misremembered the not mm -hmm. first of best of. Yeah, yeah. First no, not best of first of. Oh my god. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. All right. That's it. Get. Yeah. Stay hydrated. Stay mm -hmm. hydrated. This 420. Stretch Whatever you you're to. doing, there is very seldom stay a downside hydrated. to staying hydrated and yeah. drinking water. Yeah. But you know, unless you drink like. 15 galleons. Yeah, no. <laughs> the, the, mo moderation, you know, you, you can you can take anything too yeah. far. But well, in general, staying yeah. hydrated. Yeah. yeah. Pretty, pretty, pretty strong move. Mm -hmm. Hydrant's got uh, both players. Uh, mm. si simul Tetris. But uh, looks like the uh, Hydrant start, start off with a misdrop, I think. Yeah, the b b bit of a He's hole. He's been too early, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I has to stick that in like that. Ah! Could he? No, I don't think he can outspin that one. Uh, I am. Do some tournaments uh still use max outs as draws? I uh I don't entirely know. As in, like, if both players max out, does it count as a draw? I can't say that that's something that that's something I'm familiar with. That hasn't happened here yet, at least. We don't. We haven't been. I'm not sure about past tournaments, but today it hasn't happened yet. Oh, oh, the tuck, huh? Oh, he got get himself Tetris because of his trouble. All right. Then with Tetris. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get uh, loose fire in the middle. I, I, I've lost. I've lost my view on chat. Just trying oh, to get no. that back, everyone. Okay. And how is? I think it's pretty dead even. If um, I think if uh, Opus gets a gets a Tetris, the score is basically even. 
and we'll see that uh, a little behind, it, but it, yeah, it, it, it's pretty close. It is uh, yeah. pretty close to that that dead heat, that neck and neck mm -hmm. that you are always oh. always ready to call out mm -hmm. as a commentator. Neck and neck, twenty nine, but he's yeah, okay. All right, I'm back in the chat. All right, welcome back. 258,000 to 239,000, 280,000 now. So just about a two Tetris lead. Opox is set up to uh, close that, yeah. but Hydrant is yeah. opening up that lead even further. We mm -hmm. are... Uh, but it's basically even the one mistake, and it's it's the other way around. Unless the mistake no. is driving the other way or further. No, it's but. it's. Uh, so so I mean, oh. with with with, a, with the consistency, Hydrant could in fact pull off the bracket reset. Mm. That can happen. Louis Spire. Oh, double LPs when he doesn't need one. Okay, mm -hmm. at least he the third one comes and saves the day. Tuck, nice. Excellent. And boom, Tetris for Hydrant. Mm -hmm. Boom, Tetris for Opox. <laughs> oh, oh! Ooh, what a that, that, that's but that heartbreaker. Can, that can be cleaned but, up. But it well, it, it, the thing is, is it a misdrop or is it a Vince? No, it's a misdrop. He, he, <laughs> he, he needs one more to the to the left. No, I mean he he, he could have, but you know, it, ha, ha, we it, it was. I was hoping it would have turned into a Vitz setup. Yeah, but it doesn't seem like that happened. We'll see. We'll, we'll see if we. We'll, we'll see if we get one of those. That, that's what I was throwing yeah. bits in the chat for earlier. Oh, okay. Vitz is uh the is the vertical eye tuck setup. Oh, okay. Where you have that gap of four, uh, yeah. vertically speaking. He actually did it beginning of, beginning of the match. No. No, we we definitely so, saw a few. Yeah. Or oh, was it last match? I don't remember. But he did it. Uh, Hydrant did it. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what I was saying. Oh, yeah, beginning of this match, I was like, fancy earlier. Oh, he didn't. Oh, piece of place to go. I was pacing the dead, dead even line, but he, uh, oh, Hydrant's about 50, uh, 58, uh, 50 ahead. Mm-hmm. 50, mm -hmm. 50, 50k ahead. Yeah, and uh, fi fi f five hundred over five hundred thousand at one hundred lines is uh, not real strong, <laughs> real strong pace. Definitely uh, possible yeah. max out five forty. Yeah. Uh, on track to transition at at least six hundred k. And Tetris ready again. Opox. Uh, Opox having found f found a consistency, and the other thing about you know when you're you know we talked about building out your left earlier, mm. but that sloping build yeah that Opox has and Hydrant has now too. You can see the slope mm -hmm. cascading high left sloping down. You don't get screwed up by spires. Exactly. That's yeah. that's how you can do that. You like mini spire over there on Hydrants yeah. for a second while he, which is very quickly repaired. Yeah. Uh, Opox yeah. transitions, Hydrant transitions. A little awkward for Hydrant. Six, six forty k, six, uh, six twenty, six ten, six forty k transitions. These are both maxed out pace games. Yeah. Uh, the the likes of which you know, you go back. I, I I'm dating myself here. You go back <laughs> before rolling. You know, five six years. You know, this is this would have been a landmark. This is now yeah. just sort of. You know, another day at the office, <laughs> and the but the, the, pa office. the pace that we're seeing here. Oh, uh, most local. Still, I, I don't. I don't mean to downplay the achievement, more just to praise how radically the scene has shifted. Yeah. Uh, appropriate pieces coming in. Oh, Hydrant hello. out okay. of danger completely. Okay. Yeah. Opox okay. following up. Score. He did spend uh, a little very, bit of We are now uh, neck and neck uh, within. Uh, a thousand points of each yeah. other and three lines. I uh, think it's slightly better for Opus, Opus, but yeah, uh, I mean by like a hair. <laughs> by a hair. The other major factor right now is board health. Hydrant. Uh, oh, oh, that missed drop. But oh my goodness! Not... Hydrant got exactly the pieces he needed yeah. to get out of that. We, yeah. 
I, I would, you know. Not out of danger. Okay, never mind. No, He's okay. mostly fine now. There we go. Wow, that was a truly impressive survival. Open for oh, business again. Open. Keeping it open, and Hydrant takes the Tetris. Uh, Opox. Uh, having o uh, only managed to open up about 20k of lead at the yeah. end, when all was said and done out of Factoring that high dig. probably dead even so. Uh, pretty, pretty close, both players. Yeah. 912 for Opox, 940. Hydrant just 20k behind. 20k behind, but one line behind Pace, but... I mean, it's yeah. it's extremely, extremely close. Uh, almost certainly gonna see a double max out here. Mm. Oh. Back and forth, uh, max out for Opox. For both of them, I think. Not, not, not yet for Hydrant. Oh, okay. Now max out for oh, Hydrant. Okay. <laughs> oh, her, right, yeah. Ah, uh, so yeah, just you know, a usual game of Tetris. Ooh. In the uh, oh, very, oh, well, very tight, well. very tight. Oh, is the, is he gonna? Hy Hydrant needs the bar. Ooh, oh, oh, there, it is. there it is. Fortunately, kept enough uh, at the oh, top to clear the triple. Uh, oh, it's tight. It's tight. It's doable, but it's very tight. Yeah. Needs oh, to fill that uh, in. Oh, that that, that okay, bar didn't clear enough. enough. Split second, double. Second. Split double burn. You got the O piece. Oh, he topped oh, out. Opox tops out. He just need a loot chase. Is he gonna get it? Is he gonna get the bracket reset? Oh, so close! It's certainly possible. A oh. A two. Oh. One more line. One more line. No! Oh! <laughs> that was great. A line away. Yeah. From sweeping to the bracket reset. All right. So we started seeing How some traffic here out? for Opox. Yeah. Uh, it looks uh, like it started even before uh, this. Uh, but really, getting yeah. that uh, that S over to the side uh, did not quite work yeah. out. Even the L would have made a huge difference. Uh, it, it, the IPs. There yeah. was. It was an incredibly tight situation, but yeah. like one more. <laughs> they, are just, they, they, are oh. they are in shock. They are in the shock as well. <laughs> no, that that yeah. was that was a nail biter. It looked yeah. like Hydrant was going to have swept, pulled off the bracket reset, and uh, now Opox is. Uh, look, whatever happens, you can't say Opox is not being made to work for this mm. for this title. Yeah. Not making it easy. <laughs> A little sip. Three, two. Oh, no. Uh, he, waiting for the sippy. Yeah. Waiting for the sippy. No, no. He needs it. Stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. They needed it after that match. No, I. I... Are you guys ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Tetris. Tetris. <laughs> All right. So we're still in grand set one. We almost. Yep. We almost advanced to the next set. Almost. Uh, it, it, I, I thought Hydrant was going to do it. I thought he got it. Yeah. I, I, I thought it was going to do it. It was within a thousand points, uh, which I think, that's I think insane. that's a single line clear yeah, at this that level. That is insane. It was extremely close to sweep for the bracket reset, but no. Hydrant said, "Okay, Opox, you can have this one." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, but no, very seriously, there, there is that's just, that's just a high-level play. Yeah, scores really basically that even. It was uh, really. 490 points off. 400. Or I guess 500 points would have crossed would have crossed over. Yeah, I I don't yeah. know exactly what. Uh, I'm looking at it. Uh, the last four six figures: mm -hmm. 2620 to 3100. Yeah, and no, no, so. I, I I don't I don't remember what. Uh, what what singles are worth at level twenty nine offhand? Somebody in the chat want to check me on that, but I'm pretty sure a single line would have done it. Oh, just like any line clear. Any yeah. line clear. Whoa. No, that matches literally do not get closer than, than what you just saw. Yeah. Uh, it was razor razor thin margin. Oh, he got the JPC need. Blue, jacked. Yeah, o Opox no, needs no. a little bit of uh, something to, to clean and oh, open up. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, but no, it, it's it, 
At 18, again, it's just amazing how much slower it looks after you've just been watching 29 play, even. Yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's a little bit of traffic, but Opox can definitely manage that. It's always just frustrating when you, you drop the long bar and you score the triple because of a hole that mm. way. Uh, that, that's just inefficiency you don't you don't want. It's frequently better to burn burn a single than a triple, uh, just because that's that's more lines you have in order four to tetris. four tetrises yeah. exactly. Um, sometimes you just need to take the triple for safety's sake. Mm. Tetris, tetris, still dead even in pace, but. Score is pretty. Oh no, um, Opus. O Opox has a, is, is a Tetris ahead. ahead. Yeah, maintaining. Uh, yeah, but no, we're, we're we are they are dropping the same pieces almost uh, uh, exactly right now. Yeah, very very close. There's a little gap at the bottom, but mm -hmm. not too much, not too big of an issue. Yeah, not even a Tetris apart. Uh, just about a Tetris apart right now. A little block from Opox. Hydrant. Staying Tetris ready pays off. Oh. Opox cannot take advantage of the same bar in the sequence. He needs another eyepiece. Yeah, no, the those dependencies are tough. T. Oh, no, now he cleans up. IPs? Hydrant is clean. Oh, oh, he has to clean. Aw, oh, man, but he cleans it up again. And this time it's a lot cleaner. So there it is. Looked for uh, that and got and, it. And so what you're seeing right now, Opox is Opox is probably going to be quite comfortable playing one off the bottom for a while if he if he has to. Yeah. They're keeping only four tall, so that it, if it clears up, he can clean. Oh, that might cover it, but not too much of an issue. Hydrant is. Uh, eyepiece. Hydrant is a little bit spiry, a little bit high. Oh, and having uh, some trouble. No, you don't. You, you, you don't want. You want. You don't want too much of the Swiss cheese on your board. Yeah. Opox. I like cheese, but not in Tetris. Right. Yeah. No. You gotta. <laughs> time and place for everything. A a after various other 420 activities, big <laughs> cheese plate. You know, charcuterie. Uh, you can't say no. But in your Tetris, especially when you are trying to have uh, compete with Opox, who is uh, 419,000, you know that that's that's still max out pace. Mm. Uh, you can definitely bang bang down a 500 or 600k transition from this point mm. with the kind of dedication and consistency that we've seen on display so far. Yeah. And boom, back to back Tetris's for Hydrant. Oh, uh, is cleaning a little bit. Setting uh, up the Quaid oh. well, or no, gonna, 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 gonna transfer. Hydrant took the oh, took, uh, took the lead for a second. No, no, yeah, he took the lead for a second. And then. No, Opox, we, we, are, we are now uh, on the border of neck and neck. Oh, yeah. both players simul transition. transition 500 and 520k, respectively. Yeah. Oh, Hello. is that intentional? Opox has some 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 tuck setups. Oh, oh, oh. the line spin. <laughs> Opox swagging away from, uh, swagging away, but only uh, actually slightly behind. As <laughs> Hydrant starts uh, pouring on pouring Tetris? on the gas, Tetris start flying but faster Hydrant and more furiously. A bigger, biggest lead so far. Ten. It is a dead heat trading leads. The yeah. necks are flying back and forth. Yeah. Not one, but two necks. Oh, oh. Really, really tight. Uh, holes in the board will still allow Tetrises to be scored. Opox in a uh, fr frustrating to need to lay those eyepieces flat. Oh, three. Oh, getting dirty, getting dirty. Three Hydrant clears it up. in a row, but thankfully he has space for that. Oh, it's it's tough. It's tough. Opox yeah. back open. 
Need another JP's. Hydrant. Oh, find it. Very successful run. Oh, clear nice. just in time. And then the JP's arrive. No, LP's, but it works. Hydrant uh, opening up. Uh, get lead getting eroded about 30,000 30, points ahead. Yeah. Still very tight game and uh, a, a fair bit of runway left 29. Though mm. 29 doesn't mean the end of anything anymore. It, uh, it's still just... You know, it used to mean something back in the day and it just means back it's going to be day. harder. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but, but both these players are, are very strong and capable of playing past 29. Uh, there we go. Opox is just setting up those Tetrises as with incredible consistency. Mm. Hydrant dude, a uh, little bit of Swiss cheese. Gonna need to clear that open. Not able to take advantage of the same piece to oh, score. Now it clears up. Opox and LPs. back to back. I mean, I. <laughs> uh, uh, dead. The, the, score is dead even. The, yeah, this. Basically this, dead even. It's as hot as it gets yeah. in the 850s. But you saw how those tiny differences made the difference last game. <laughs> last round, the tiniest of differences made it. The score is, uh, in fact, is a bigger difference right now than it was at the end of the last game. Yeah. With just uh, a few, few precious Tetrises left before kill screen, when they do become more valuable, but even harder and harder to yeah. achieve. 929 to 964. Oh. Uh, oh, excellent tuck set up by Opox. Both players Almost score Tetrises. Up. Almost maxing out. Almost oh, maxing out. So, uh, max out for Opox. Uh, Hydrant will be able to. Uh, Next oh, Tetris. Oh, tr transitions. Oh, Not quite the Tetris. max out yet, but it's certainly low enough to line out into a max. Ooh, Ooh some, some really, really frustrating pieces. Not not getting the so parity. Opox. Oh, he o topped up. O Opox, Opox is topped, topped out. out. Hydrant. So it's a chase. Hydrant, uh, Hydrant can take it with a chase down. A10, A10, A43 is what we are shooting for. So A44. Can Same. Hydrant pull off the bracket reset? Yeah. With post kill screen play. It's the exact same scenario from last round. But uh it, it, Way it's very cleaner. Good. A, A29, A29. Yeah. Very just Ooh. trying to survive. Yeah. Get those pieces flat as long as they get down. However it happens. Oh. A38, A39. Oh, A44. Hydrant pulls off the bracket reset. The grandest of the grand finals. Bracket reset. Yeah. Yeah. No. We are. We're, we're not. We're, we're not. Grand finale season two. Exactly. No. This is <laughs> now the real battle begins. Yeah. Before yeah. Opox was just like you haven't even seen my yeah. final form. <laughs> yeah. All right. So this is uh. Opox has to go, go go Super Saiyan Blue at this point. <laughs> and hopefully it's enough. <laughs> Three, two, one. Tetris, let's go. Oh, different opening already. Well, as you can see, you know, d different approaches, whether you're trying to maximize mm -hmm. for peace accommodation. Hydrant with Cur some... Curiously leaving some spaces for uh, oh, some fancy some maneuvers. Some aggressive tucks. Like that. Oh. And like that. And now, perfect place for a square tuck. And oh, oh, oh he didn't use the OPs. Looking for, oh, oh, okay. Opox, uh, oh, a little bit of traffic. How is he going to clean the... Uh, unfortunate. Oh, you, you, you yeah, were... Yeah, he has to burn. Yep. Burn pieces. Burn uh, ended up with an extra bar dependency. Could have been filled in with a de with an L. Yeah. I was going to clean the, the left side up. T. A little nice. bit of traffic on Hydrant cleans side, up. but... Hydrant uh, cleans up. Overall better efficiency. Is it? Yeah, in terms of the scoring. Oh. Oh. Yeah. H Hydrant has uh, wrangled, uh, had wrangled about a, a 20,000 point lead uh, at the same level. Now it's about 16, 15, 16. Mm. 
from the doubles. Yeah, no, it, it's... I mean, it, it's amazing how deceptive, like, a couple lines can be, but oh. if you just see how much efficiency matters. Hydrant, Some you know... Uh, triple LPs? Honestly, LPs. it's... It's, a, it's, it's wild how high things have to be oh, for you to be worried on 18 about one of these players' performances. Three LPs. The Lewis Spire. But he cleans up. Nice. Yeah, and then now he's, now he's flat as a board. Oh, perfect clear Almost. setup for Hydra. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine the amount Imagine. of garbage that would have been sent over to yeah, Opox's Opox. screen. Yeah. I mean... We got spiked, I feel like. Listen, obviously, yeah. we, we, we love seeing good games, but... Yeah. When... when, when Get, get, getting the bracket reset, I can feel. I feel like Opak would have been possibly reacting by saying, "What is this garbage?" At yeah. one level or another. Yeah. <laughs> you promised me not to open MS2. <laughs> <laughs> ah, but excellent. Oh. Excellent competitive spirit and excellent, excellent competitive play on the part of both of these players. Me. Strong Tetrises coming back and forth. Oh. 200k to 185. Just about a one Tetris lead for Hydrant. Mm. Uh, Opox banging down two in a row. Hydrant following along. You know, w w w when you see the Tetris is happening at the same pace for both players, like that is, I think, when you can tell that like both of them are finding roughly the best, the mm. best line, the yeah. best efficiency. Uh, Without dying. Yeah, no. I, w w <laughs> one thing that I haven't, I've been curious about, but that I haven't oh, seen. Oh, three OPs again. Oh, it's tough. Second time it happened. With the uh, with the AI that's available now for some amount of Tetris play, like one thing that I've been wondering what would be the optimal. Well, so like to take the piece sets from like a very highly competitive like finals game. Mm -hmm. And run an AI specifically against the same piece set yeah. as like was in a competitive game, and see like how close were you to like thirty hertz optimal play? Right, because they that's the whole they had a whole it was they was they had a whole um shock when um I think it was uh it was go um mm -hmm. when. They made a the, the AI made a move, play against the top. I think the champion mm -hmm. of, of the world, and they uh, they the AI basically made a move, and everyone's like, "What are you doing?" And turned out it was like a brilliant move. Oh, yeah. Vitz, Vitz, Vitz on Hydrant side. Vertical eye tuck setup. We gonna see it? Ah, oh, uh, missed it, but well, he, no, uh, has a he has a second well, chance. Well, no, and the Vitz. Nice. There we go. It's just so it satisfying. Just Doesn't matter which order. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it would be interesting if um, they have an AI p and AI play it and see what's considered optimal to the computer. Yeah, to see w yeah. W with the with the same piece set. That's the part that I have yeah, in with the same seat. Exactly. Yeah. So like what does the computer say about how optimal yeah. this play was? And if he's wrong or not. And here we are now with uh, game one. Both players coming in to transition with uh, better than 500,000. Easily max out pace. Another Vitz for Hyd from Hydrant. Mm. Truly, truly outstanding. No, oh, the T-spin. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't get points for it, but it still looks cool. Uh, no, no, no garbage. Absolutely nothing garbage about any any of these games. Yeah. Uh, Hydrant's ahead in pace and score. Five hundred ninety. Now, strong transitions from both players. Yeah. Six hundred twenty k for Hydrant. Hydrant's really just uh, yeah. pu pu pouring it on, and that's the thing: is after transition, play is faster. That uh, 
Tetrises are worth more points, so the the score can change much more quickly. Mm. Nice tuck setup, execute, and Opox takes the takes the Tetris. A little cleanup from mm -hmm. Hydron. Just Cerebral burn. Yeah. Tetris. Boom, Tetris for Hydron. Boom, Tetris for Opox. And both Fast sides and still furious. really clean. And ready, Tetris. Really strong play. Tetris. Hy Hydrant getting Tetris ready as efficiently as possible, keeping the board low. But mm. uh, so un un unlike in modern, there is no score benefit towards uh, consecutive clears yeah. or consec or 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 back to back bonuses. Uh, if you score a Tetris. You know, it's worth the same amount of points whether you scored a Tetris before or not. It's you don't hear back-to-back back 50 times, don't worry. It's true. <laughs> I mean, we, we, we might say it once, but back we won't say it 50 times. Back-to-back T-spin. T-spin double. Yeah. Do, do they have T-spin doubles and triples in Puyo Puyo? I think so, but like it's like with um, the, the, it's vo the voice line is different. Coming up for a max out for Hydrant. Yeah, max out. Opox, uh, yeah. hundred thousand points behind, but you know, that I don't want to say that's nothing yeah. at this level, but it is certainly achievable, especially when your board is as clear as Opox yeah. is right now. Nine hundred eighty-four. Almost max one, out. One, one more Tetris will max, max out. out. Uh, oh, not 992. Not even, not even Anything will max there out Hydrant. Max out for Hydrant. Sandwich the moon. Maxed out. Yeah. You won't hear back-to-back -back in Puyo Puyo Tetris. Depends on what you play. If you play mm -hmm. Carbunco, it'll just be goo 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 goo. 990 <laughs> for Opox. And max out for max Opox. Out. Nice. A98. About to be AA. A25. This passed the point where they died last time, so they're doing much better this time. Both. Oh, the, these are these are some Beat. very strong oh, yeah. games, and about ready for the second transition, formerly oh. known as the kill screen, now known as the thrill screen. Thrill screen. The, the do what you screen. will and, screen. Uh, oh, Hydron tops oh, out. Both they players. both tops out, but Hydron is ahead. Wow. So Hydron taking a definitely point thrilling. In the second set. Can we get can we get the the replay of the end of that game because yeah, they I topped out see. very close to each Absolutely. other. Absolutely, let's get this game. Yeah, started once and this we'll is up. The picture in picture. It's like really quickly, dude. They weren't in trouble for a long time. Both I feel like both of them were like doing okay, and then mm -hmm. boop. Yeah, and that's a point for Hydrant. Yeah. Yep. Well done. DC. Fighting. Fighting their way back. Mm. Very aggressively. Ready to go? Yeah, doesn't look like he's drinking water this time. Do we do we have a ready? Three, two, one. Tetris. Alright, let's get the replay up. Oh yeah, it's coming up in the middle. Go. Yep. Okie doke. Yeah, so so uh, clean. Nothing. No no danger so far. What happened? A ninety nine. How did they both <sighs> kick the bite the dust simultaneously? Yeah, let's see. So we start to see a little bit of risk as uh, Opox. Yeah, it's, Opox it's transitions. Up transitions and I think he just got really unlucky with this with the piece. Yeah, the yeah. the piece. Both both players, it really kind of happened all at once. Yeah. Let me let, let me run this back. Just it must a have been bit. like an impossible set for what both happened? of them to die. Oh, no, actually he died. He died a little earlier in terms of pacing. What what, what happened with Hydrant? Uh, Hydrant had didn't even quite make the transition. Yeah. Looks like that at, it's that hanging uh, S piece. What? Uh, yeah. Okay. So uh, hi, hi, Hydrant. Yeah, Hydrant. Hydrant hangs the S when he was either trying to move it to the left, further down. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, that one. Yeah. Yeah. So that S piece, that blue S piece. Yeah. That S piece touch. He he couldn't react to it coming. Was meant to go on this side right yeah. there. But when, once that happened, you get the hang. 
And then, do we have a miss flip? Oh, yeah, no, th then right there, the hang right on top yeah. of the of the S piece that's and already flipped. Then it's just... Then that's just too difficult to get out of. You just have a lift over the pot. And then Opox just got very yeah. unfortunate pieces yeah. on their side. Had was, to go flat. Was yeah. immediately put in the situation of needing to create more Swiss cheese. Mm. Unfortunate. Uh, sometimes you're not getting out of that. Mm. And how are we doing the first 40 lines of this new game? Uh, 187 to 167. Pretty one even. Tetris lead for Hydrant. It's one Tetris? Oh, yeah. Yep. Uh, at uh, at level 18, a single Tetris is roughly 22,000 points. I see. Okay. So that's uh, that's often the shorthand measurement. Mm -hmm. uh, the the the, the value of a Tetris it goes increases. up as every uh, yeah. level is scored. As it gets more fun. Yeah. But at uh, 18, which is where you are until the 130 line until transition, transition. Uh, 22,000 is the number. It starts creeping up, and by the time you're at 29, you know they're worth upwards of 30,000. Uh, as you can, you know, see the see the scores tick up faster and faster. Mm. Uh, when you're deep in post kill screen play, a single Tetris can be worth millions of points. Mm. Wow. Mm. But you know that's it, can a single Tetris be worth millions of points? D definitely hundreds of thousands. Yeah. Uh, we've seen play deep enough for that to be the case. Well, it's like super, super kill screen. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. the, the the super kill screen is a modification introduced for oh, level 39 yeah. uh, in competition play only once we had the 2022 uh, Classic Tetris World Championships where we saw what happened when yeah. the full power of rolling yeah. had been unleashed. Yeah, the full power of games that are three hours long. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Hydrant uh, had some, some, you know, what what looked like potentially Two nasty O's? dependencies, nice. but fill, the filled OP out. saves today. Filled out very safely. Yeah. Opox, uh, solid, consistent, uh, 400k at 86 lines. Oh, to to, oh, single line burn. Yep. I can no. never see that coming. Oh, it's... it's, it's no, oh, be, being able to clean up burns very quickly is another crucial skill set because yeah. you want to be able to just take efficiency when you get it. Yeah. Uh, Opox set Tetris? up for an uh, an L and an L or they're, they're even in line now, so about uh, forty two Tetris ahead, roughly. Uh, just, yeah, uh, Tetris and a half ish. Yeah. Hydrant widening that gap. Oh, that's a that's a very frustrating situation there with uh, one line the blocking. holes. Yeah, but shouldn't be too hard to solve. Solves about as quickly as I think anybody could have. And now the ZP's come in, and now well, just a little bit of a, well, a small well. Oh, block it up again. Ooh, uh, there it is. Now it cleans up. Where's the IP? Oh, he hy needs hy hydrant's in a little bit of trouble. Hydrant very high on the left. Oh, okay. oh, Opux was looking for the eyepiece too. Hi Hi Hydrant, please, please, my heart cannot take it. Yeah, he's starting to a burn a little bit. The throat. I'm not, I'm not a young man in this game anymore. <laughs> Get take. Oh, now it comes. That's oh. really unfortunate. Oh, o no, o but now Opox it shows up. Just, uh, o o Opox just, you know, yeah. la di da di da. Yeah. But the efficiency pays off, as we're going to see uh, about a 630, uh, 600 th transition in the 30s for, for Hydrant, I'm sure. Yeah. Opox. I oh, he does, uh, he does go for transition the, uh, at the, 600. Yeah, he does go for the grass to play. Oh, oh and Montaigne keeps it. Hy Hydrant gets dirty for his transition. Yeah. Wonder if it's worth it. We'll see if he ends up being, oh. getting punished for that. So far, so good, though. They are even. Uh, that's it, 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 it. They're they're very, very tight. Very yeah. tight. Close. Hydrant six fifty three. Opox six twenty five. Yeah. Hydrant has to spend some time cleaning up. Uh, Within a Tetris, certainly. Yeah. Uh, Opox. I mean, o Opox. This is this is Opox's time to really make up for the efficiency. Yep. Ken uh, takes the lead. Ken up. Oh, Hydrant takes it back. What? What? Oh. What's going on? Uh, what's going on is incredibly high-level competitive play, okay. swapping leads back and forth. Hydrant 713, Opox 704, separated by less than a Tetris. Mm. Hydrant 
wrestling that lead a little bit further out. Opox not letting them open open it up. Mm. Hydrant crosses the 800,000 mark going in uh, lines uh, 173. My not touch us. Into level 23. Spin a. Just checking the piece distributions on this game. We've had 65 bars. Oh. Uh. And. Oh, it's over there. Okay. Really. You now, relatively balanced games. Mm. They really did. excellent. There was a little 890k yeah. to 9, 903k for Opox. Pace is still basically dead, even though. Oh, uh, it's it's coming. No, uh, Opox has better. O Opox pace. has yeah, slightly slightly stronger pace. I mean, this is back when ooh, uh, slight miss drop, but Opox can definitely get. Under this, especially with that Max flurry out. of Tetris, there it is. Max out for Hydrant, T taking taking the lead back and yeah. not letting it go. Max out for Opox, mm. double max out. We've seen uh, the last three games have all been double max outs at this point. It is the finals. <laughs> what what what? what? Now, when else would you expect to see it? I could not tell you. Yeah. Really strong play. Yeah. B, you know. From both B64. Yeah. This was where he died last game. So, I mean, in some senses, when you're playing Tetris, you are truly only competing against yourself. Yeah. Uh, and honestly, that that's one of the things about these high-level matches is that when you have an opponent who you know See? is in this oh, wild God. class. Oh, and here we are, second transition, C16 for Hydrant. Tetris, post-transition. speed. C54, C63, A75 on Opox's side. Both but players he, now um, playing. Opox is in danger. This is the thrill screen. O Opox can survive at this level, oh, but... Hydrant is oh. strong, but... It's crazy. He's still going strong in this in in this speed. That is wild. I mean, you know what 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 is what does a mullen even mean in the in the world of post kill screen play? This is the hydrant flex. Yes. H hydrant is just going what, mullen. Mullen is when you when you max out a game it just because you were on max out pace. Uh, but I mean, in this case. Yeah, he is one to go. Like, because I mean, this is fine. D four. Let's get a rollover. Let's get a rollover. Do we know what Hydrant's like PV is? Like, right. is he just all right. okay? I can check. I can check yeah. on the PV, but yeah. you know, the D ninety. It's uh, one point one point four. <laughs> That's nuts. Absolutely wild. I was ho I was hoping we, we might get to see the the rollover. Yeah, which would be uh, F F F F F. So <laughs> it, it only it only modifies the first letter in the uh, score. Okay. Uh, the first digit. So, so just one point six one is 6. where you would roll over. Yeah. Uh, F ninety nine, and no, then no, no, it no, flips no, no. back then. to zero. Then uh, he loose. Just a heads he up, has. chat to end stream. I'm gonna be uh. Our, we're, we ran out of ad buffer because of how long these sets are. So I'm going to play a two-minute ad now so that we don't okay. miss the later end because obviously yeah. the, this one game will go far longer than that. That sounds entirely right. <laughs> we'll be right back. Okay. Yeah. No, so the ad is playing to all our Twitch subs who don't get the ad. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. much appreciated. Let's get into this next yeah. game. And for those who are not watching this, uh, you can get take this chance to get some water, stretch, move around. Yeah. We should do that too. <laughs> but ideally, you will just, you know, subscribe to House of 3000. Yes. <laughs> Th that's the ideal outcome. Yeah, this is now pay-per-view content yeah. for the next hey. minute and a half. Tetris yeah. After Dark. Yeah. We're still on air, right? <laughs> yes. <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> it was the Twitch ad. We're, we're still streaming. <laughs> okay. Just wondering if he, uh, the, um, is, are they waiting for Ooh. me for the, um, no. okay. You are fine. Uh, the you're waiting on the loser of Super uh, Shocky and 
Who who won that round? Their opponent, Super Shocking and Sayonara. They haven't played it. There. Oh, they uh, haven't played. Okay. Yeah, Salted has that set uh, being held to be play to be the first set we play on stream. So. Hey. Okay. Yeah. So you're you're chilling. You're not holding up anything. No. They can. It is only Salted holding they can up what? things. They can what? They can. They can. They witness me play. Oh no. Well, this is a truly, truly excellent. Yeah. Time the you know anytime you see you know D D ninety putting up numbers like that, it's a good show. Right. So uh, were we able to find out what Hydrant's PB was? Oh, uh, I will get on that in just a second. From if it's the too CTN. tall a task, uh, it's not a big deal. Yeah. I think I can do this. PB. Because I could only imagine the only reason why you would keep going at that point is that you're like, oh, I might. I might PB. Wait, so it's best to three, right? So this, this is, is first to three. That match point, like um, tournament point tournament for hydrant. Point for hydrant. Yeah. If hydrant takes this, uh, he takes it home. Over. Yeah, so this tournament can end uh, in one to three games. Either this yeah. game for hydrant or Opox yeah. takes the next three. Coming from. Hydrant gets sent to Lucidsburg, he's like, I'm just giving everyone a chance. I'm coming back to take it home. Uh, hi hi Hydrant uh, PB is uh, 1.955 million. So it did so it, spill it, it, over. It, it could have happened. Yeah. Which uh, I suppose is yeah. is pretty reasonable mm. to to try for that. Yeah. If you Once you've already hit, you know, going to hit 1.4. Yeah, I assume he doesn't want, also doesn't want to tire himself out, because um, I assume it's really stressful to play at that speed. I mean, I, I would not know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I assume it has to be like uh, if any like uh, win the tournament over, get it, uh, depends on what you like, which one's more valuable, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. winning the t winning tournament or have a ch have a shot at PB and he knew because he didn't top up right away when he saw because he know he, he, he beats the opponent but like he didn't top up right away because he knows it's a good run oh it's fantastic yeah fantastic to see I mean it, if we don't you know at, at a certain level you don't you're always like I said you're competing against yourself we mm -hmm. want to give people a chance to do that yeah but, boop right there Three hundred forty-five thousand oh. to two hundred seventy-three thousand. Nearly a hundred thousand point lead. Opox is really open, opening it up. Yeah. Uh, Almost. Yep. Uh, that, that's o that's over a hundred thousand points. Uh, Hydrant is dealing with a little bit of traffic on the board early on, but uh, clears up now. As you can see, it's it the the ability for a board to go from traffic to clear. Uh, even at 18 speed is really remarkable and just mm. a testament yeah. to the Lewis consistent Spire, problem solving that you oh, see. Tetris. So what you want to do in uh, classic Tetris is you want often to build a stack that accommodates the greatest variety of pieces yeah. possible. You can only see what what's the next. You can only, you only have two pieces. You have information mm -hmm. for two pieces, so you don't want to get screwed over. That's why it's good to keep it flat, because the only thing the flat things can accommodate is an S and Z piece, but you can always just play them flat on the surface, and then you can tuck things in. Yeah, so the, the most accommodating board states in Classic are states that have uh, troughs oh. that are one, one piece wide and two piece wide, alternatingly. Yeah. What you don't want is multiple situations where you have... Uh, two pe two piece deep troughs. Yeah. That are especially when they're one piece wide. Those are L slash J dependencies, mm. which can also be filled in with eyes. Yeah. Um, and that those are the situations you really want to avoid having too much of those. And the jacks as well, the mountains, mm -hmm. the the jaggies, yeah. the spires. Uh, yeah. 123 lines. Opox has uh, 540k. Yeah, I see the slope again. Yep, we're we're starting to get a little bit high, but still not into uh, the 570k transition, transition together. 
almost at the same time. 480, uh, almost yeah. almost yeah. 100,000 points ahead at transition, but there is yeah. a lot of game left. Yeah. I wasn't no, I wasn't looking too closely, but did uh, Opux plays a little bit more ag aggressively since he knows he is in danger in terms of the tournament. Yeah, no, I mean it's. Well, o o Opox has just had. Uh, y you saw in the games versus Hydrant. Uh, no, you saw. Well, you saw in the games versus Shocky, where yeah. Shocky, uh, um, excellent player all around, but more comfortable in the modern, where you're guaranteed the seven bag rotation. Yeah. So you you can understand how playing a little bit more conservatively can help uh, would would make sense, mm. but you know. Opox just has the high degree of confidence in handling the randomness and the timing of Classic mm. to be able to play that aggressively and that high, uh, which is much tougher on 19 speed than it is at 18 speed. All right. Uh, oh! Ooh, that's a frustrating L hang on Hydrant's side. It's not but too hard to clean up, though. No, it's, it's, it's not too tall. Not too tall yet, but yeah. that, that slowdown is going to let Opox run catch away up a bit. Even further. But I mean, uh, run away even further, yeah. Not catching up, you're ahead. No, just, just, just yeah. take, take that lead as far as it goes. Yeah, take it to the moon. 804,000 for Opox. 746 for Hydrant. Dead heat in lines. Yeah. Always, always a pleasure to see competitors pushing each other at this level. Mm. It's a good show. 870, 813. So just about two Tetrises and change at this level. Yeah. As you can see, Tetris is now worth about 33k. Mm. A lot more than before. 877. In a little bit of trouble. Oh. Ooh. Oh, neck and neck. Oh. But uh, Opus oh, is in trouble. Opox has to. Oh, split double burn. Only burn ah, once at a time. Oh, if, if he does not get really the good. exact right pieces, we're in. Oh, um, he got. Oh, no! Oh, no! But and hey, hydrant. He's not. He's not. Not out yet. of the woods yet. Two, two, two thousand. Two thousand. Eight 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 nine eight ninety. We have a champion. A truly, truly nail biting, white knuckling. Yeah. Absolute edge of your seat performance. Strong showing from Opox and Hydrant. Like wow. You don't get closer matches than that. You just don't. Except for that match, that that match where he mm. he 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 was like a hair away from uh, get the uh, the 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 match from yeah, yeah, the just, first set. Just just all yeah. just just all of the games between Hydrant and Opox. It's very close, neck and neck. Well, <laughs> where <Pretty> else <laughs> can you get such hair raising, nail biting entertainment than the House of Three Thousand? <laughs> Here located at Xeno Zero on 21 right Ludlow Street. Smash that subscribe button <laughs> so you don't have to deal with those ads. <laughs> yes. You right. know, like I said, you don't get better entertainment than this. Hydrant! Oh, yeah, let's oh. get Congratulations! Allow me. You do, probably want to get out of here anyway. All right then. Yeah. So you, you're going to Puyo Puyo? Yeah. All right. So do we want to turn it over to both of you or do we want to get interviews? Yeah. How do we want to do this? <laughs> Th thanks so much. Good mm -hmm. times, Lamy. Yeah, good times. You want you want you want, you want post games? <laughs> <laughs> now let's just do back to back interviews. Okay. Yeah, just hang on. All right. So then, uh, so the, well, yeah, Hydrant first, hi and then Hulkbox uh, after. Oh, okay, Hydrant first. Well, Hydrant. I think this is our first headset. time officially meeting. Headset. Uh, oh, put put headset. on your headset. headset, 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 headset. Oh. <laughs> Let's make sure everyone can hear what Hydrant, <laughs> after uh, that stellar performance, has to say. Uh, so I'm uh, Kairos Final Cut, the New York City Discord. Uh, uh, partner uh, Dan Sushi and I uh, put that together uh, after, after, after the news about Jonas and uh, helped put together events. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah, you too. So, how does it feel? 
<laughs> I'm I'm so tired. <laughs> that was a lot of Tetris to play. It was a lot of Tetris to play. A lot of really really tight games as well. Yeah, a couple of those. Uh, there was that one game where mm -hmm. I lost by like 500 points. Yeah, that was like 600 points. A any score at that level would have made the yeah, difference. Any line clear, but I just mm -hmm. uh, lost it at the worst time. <laughs> it's. You know, you don't have control over that, but like the consistency that we saw uh, from both of you through this tournament, what carried you to the victory, uh, truly impressive. Um, how how that, that that last game in that chase down, what was going through your what was going through the very yeah. last game? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, first of all, I didn't realize that I hadn't won yet. So he was like <laughs> walking over to shake my hand, and I was still uh, a little bit short of it. But uh, yeah, it was. Um, I don't know. I, I was in that dig and I had to just like hold it together for just a little bit longer and then I'm done, right? So, uh, And hold it together you did. Truly, truly impressive. Uh, any any other messages, anything else in, the, in, in this game that was like really stood out to you in this past set? I mean, the games were really consistent. Like there was, I'm pretty sure, no early top outs at all mm -hmm. uh, throughout the set. Um, which is uh, and and did I see, like, it was four double max out games back to something back? like that yeah it was a lot of high scoring games in a row and yeah it was really well played uh, uh, I guess the last one was basically the only one that didn't max out I think uh, it, it was the level of matches here have been absolutely extraordinary this is like what you expect at like the end of a Masters event or uh, CTWC truly like excellent play and the like, Oh, we talk about how pace is almost, you know, p pace pre-29, like, it's still, it's still something that makes sense to talk about, but not as much as it used to. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And, mm -hmm. uh, like, having a lead into 29 is worth, like, a, a good amount, right? Because, mm -hmm. I mean, I think, like, statistics have been run on this, and, like, if you have a lead into 29, you win, like, 80, 90% of the time or something mm -hmm. still. Um, but yeah, it's definitely come down to a lot more 29 than it used to. There was a couple games there where we were really going at it on the post kill screen. I mean, and, and Tetris are just okay. worth so much more at that level. Oh, absolutely. So, so that so that stat of lead into 29 percentage of win, is that one of the statistics that's available on like Scout's site? Yeah, I think Scout has uh, in his master statistics something like that. Mm -hmm. um, and it's like I think it's also like 75% if you have the lead at transitions. Like even back there, it matters. Um, but let's get yeah. final words before right. the swap. Okay, before that, um, so I also just want to thank you for all of the work that you've done in terms of the making the game crash <laughs> a lot more accessible uh, through the videos you've done documenting that. Any last words besides uh, about the game crash, this match, anything else you want to say? Uh, I just want to say uh, thank you to the organizers. This was a fun tournament, and uh, I'm, gl I'm glad I came down here. So. But we are so glad to have you at the House of 3000 uh, at Xeno Zero. All right. Thank you, thank thank you so you. much. Have a good one. Take care. Let's get Opox on. Opox, that hard fought, hard fought. Two yeah. sets had to go through. How are you feeling? Um, I'm pretty much feeling the same as Hydra, honestly. I'm really tired and I'm, I'm really excited to get something to eat. You know, that makes a whole lot of sense at this hour. Uh, yeah. Double elimination Tetris tournaments take uh, take a lot. <laughs> yeah. Um, the thing is, like, in NTSC, which is the version we are playing, like, there's not really a bunch of double elim that's seen. Mm -hmm. It's usually on the European side because, like, Games here, they la like w like when it, when it's like between two good players like us, it lasts like eight minutes to like eleven minutes if we go all the way to thirty nine. So like, it's a crazy long time. I can tell you that the current recording, like including this the, this interview, uh, is an hour and fifteen right now. Oh yeah, so uh, makes sense. <laughs> I mean, th that's what you get when you get true finals between two absolutely stellar players. Yeah. You, you had some incredible games uh, in this set, but also uh, previously uh, when you were up against uh, Shockey. Yeah, we got a chance to see sort of uh, a little bit of a difference between like the the focus on classic and what that enables you to do during 18 and the risk that enables you to take. Uh, when then when you're more accommodating of the uh, the more consistent draws uh, yep. that end up in modern. Do you play much modern? Um, you know, recently I've actually been starting to get into modern more, more mm -hmm. and more. Um, 
Yeah, I'm I'm not I'm not that good yet, but like I'm get I'll get there one day. Yeah. Oh, it, it's it's just like a whole another skill set, honestly. I I I hadn't realized until I started playing a little bit more classic or you know trying to, and I I, I make a fool of myself in classic as far as competition yeah. is concerned. But the thing that I didn't realize is how much you rely on wall kicks when mm -hmm. you're playing in modern to be able to rotate pieces and move them at the same time. Yeah. Uh, whereas in classic, you you have to know what you're doing and move your piece before you rotate it off the walls. Exactly. Yeah. Um, there are there are some instances where we like use finesse and like mm -hmm. put it all the way to the right and then rotate it to make sure it goes into column nine or whatnot. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you really have to know how many inputs it takes to like move it to a certain spot, especially with rolling, because you have you have to put the exact amount of inputs on your fingers. Yeah. And so uh, just briefly on that rolling, so like. Is the thought process like three tap, four tap, and then like as as a piece is coming, and then that's what you calibrate? Well, yeah. You, it, I mean, at this point, like, it's not. I don't really have to think about it at all. Like, I kind of just like, you know, if you see that you want to put a piece in a certain place, you know how many taps it takes. Mm -hmm. So you just execute it at this point. It's subconscious. I mean, it's it's just incredible to think about getting to that point. Uh, well. It is, it is a lot of different skill sets involved in playing as, you know, just even over the past five, six years, just watching the scene drastically transform. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, anything else you want to say about uh, incredible performances today uh, and or anything else about the Tetra scene? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I want to I wanna thank um, Hydrant Dude for giving me a really good set. <laughs> like... Dude, you, you, you pushed me till the end, and um, he edged me out on 29, so he took the victory. He deserved it. Good job. Excellent. And yeah, thank you to the TOs again, of course. You know, I'm glad to come out um, to Zeno every month. It's always a good time. So, yeah, thank you. Thank you to you, too, for commentating. My, my very great pleasure, and happy to have you. I'll try, I'll try and get here earlier next time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, no, uh, I, I should be around for the May 11th tournament okay. uh, later on. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Opox, and let's uh, let's keep it on moving. What's next on our schedule? We're going to be moving on into Puyo Puyo Tetris 2, uh, starting off with Sayonara versus Super Shocky. But we're going to go through a quick break, and uh, yeah, stay tuned. Puyo Puyo Tetris coming right after we're back. <laughs>